Well, here we are, this single girl. Only one actor that you see here are about to act out for you the story of Antigone. Antigone could be every one, could be another one, someone shows partiality. She could be more provocative, more relaxed, Antigone could be ordinary, could be you. For sure Antigone are we, Antigone is me. That little creature by herself, staring straight ahead, seeing nothing, is Antigone. She is thinking. She is thinking instead, I finish telling you who's who and what's what in this play. Show will burst forth as dense, Salo, willful girl, who is about to rise up and face the whole world alone, alone against the world and against Crean. Her uncle, the king, another thing that she is thinking is this, she is going to die. Antigone is young, she would much rather lie than die, but there is no help for it. When you are on the side of the gods, truth against the tyrant, the man against the state, a purity against corruption, when in short, your name is N.T.I. gone. There is only one part you can play, and she must play hers through to the end, mind you. Antigone doesn't know all these things about herself. I know them because it is my business to know them. All that she knows is Crean will not allow her dead brother to be buried. And despite Crean, she must bury C. Antigone does really think, she acts, she doesn't reason, she feels. Since the curtain was raised, she feels herself with breakneck speed that she is away from her sister is Mana, who is chatting with the young man. She feels away from all of us who sit quietly and look at her. We, who are not going to die tonight. I would like to seat for a moment, please. 